Welcome to Inside the Episode. I'm Josh Greeley, the I'm voice of Armin R. Laird. <laughs> oh, you want to start over? No! Oh, sorry. I'm Jessica Kavanaugh, the voice of Carla Yeager. Oh, Carla. <laughs> Always followed by, oh, <laughs> mama. She's so dead. She is way dead, but we get to see her again. Apparently, you came on back. How does she it, back, y'all? How does it feel after a few seasons to get back and we actually get to start to see a little bit more of her backstory? I'm so excited about it. I mean, you guys, I thought I was done. We all saw mm. it happen. So, so no, I was so excited to find out more about her and Grisha. And yeah, she's, she's, she's a pretty, she's a pretty badass chick. She is a badass chick, which we knew. Yes. Hello, sacrificing one Awesome mom and whatnot. already right out the gate. Right, but right like, out the apparently gate. just an overall cool person, yeah. too. Was apparently cool even prior to momhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Funimation has asked us to answer some of your burning questions from the Twitterverse, and we've got your tweets right here. So we can start with Paul Lancer. Are you guys excited for the return of season three in April, and how are you two coping with the break? I mean, I'll take that first. I didn't think I was on a break. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was done, so everything's gravy to me, man. Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> Break's always nice, especially that you know now that we'll we'll get to kind of take the season off for uh, the holidays, for turkey time, and Christmas, and then we get to come back fresh after the after the new year. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. Like I mean, I got other stuff I'm gonna be doing, but I'm definitely looking forward to season three, especially because I've read the manga and I know it's coming. Uh, I'm really excited. I think I just realized I think I misunderstood that question too because it was asking if we were excited about upcoming season three and the upcoming break. I'm sorry, Paul. What was your initial perspective? Oh, this is for you. Oh, oh, and for you too. <laughs> oh, for me too. Okay. Uh, what was your initial perspective? Of Armin's character has it changed through the seasons? And what is your favorite thing about Carla? My initial perspective of Armin's character, just from. I got to, we got to watch the whole first like 24 episodes before we even, before we recorded any of it back in like 2012, 2013. Um, so my initial perspective of Armin was, Armin always saw himself as being the burden and the weak one and the one that needed help from his friends. And, and the, because of that fact that he was a, a poor friend. But even before, you know, the first 13 episodes is done, that, that perspective changes drastically for him when, you know, Mikasa and Aaron uh, tell him, well, no, look, we trust you with our lives. You always keep your head. You, And and it's from that moment on, he he has been the best version of himself that, that he could have been because he, he was always, he was already uh, incredibly smart. He was already incredibly brave. He just, none of those traits really came out or shined because he just lacked belief in himself. Mm -hmm. And what about you, what about Carla? Um, What's your favorite thing about Carla? My favorite thing about Carla. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Dialogue. That's fine. Um, I, I don't know, we kind of already talked about it. She's just, she's just a badass, mm -hmm. man. Like, I think she knows who she is and she, and we see that that's been the case since she was young. And uh, I think she just speaks truth and yeah. Um, I don't know, I just think she's she's someone I aspire to be a little more like, quite honestly. I think yeah. she's she's an incredible mother, and obviously. But I think even more than that, like I think she's the kind of mom who would be an incredible, would have been an incredible mom to them throughout their entire lives. Like I think she would have been the, the one that would just be like chock full of good wisdom and yeah. and kicking them in the pants when they need it. And Which she does. Yeah, she Even does. in the first episode. Yeah, yeah. So I admire her, I think she's a, She's a strong lady. Agreed. Do you believe you are the chosen one for the roles you voice act? Like you are a- That's intense. It is. <laughs> are, you, are you the chosen <laughs> one? Like, like, do you feel like anybody else could have played Carla? Sure. Like, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's I mean, just like, I, you know, I don't, I'm not one of those that's like, this role, I was meant for this role, and this role was meant for me. I believe mm. this world is full of artists that would have had really interesting just as valid takes on, on, on anything I do that, that I would. I happen to be chosen for whatever reason at the time that I was, and maybe I fit into the puzzle of what the director is putting together, mm -hmm. and so many things that have nothing to do with us, which is why we get these roles. And so, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I just feel super lucky that I 
I, I was chosen in the sense that I literally was chosen to do it. Right, like, right. Like, we but, were entrusted by Right, by, by Mike. This, this director, yeah, by Mike. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I don't know that I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know if I'd say I was like, thinking, like, like, no one else can play Amin yeah. but me. <laughs> um, agreed. Uh, like, I feel like, you know, there are plenty of people out there that could have played Armin and, you know, whatever their take was, pro would have done him just as much, if probably not more justice than what I did. Oh, don't say more, um, don't say more. We'll see. Um, you never know. But that said, I I am incredibly proud, not only for myself, but also very uh, humbled and honored and still to this day just flabbergasted that I got the part because it was one of those rare moments where I was I was a fan of the show before we ever, ever even knew we were going to get it. Oh, that's so cool. And Armin was the character that I had identified with a whole lot, especially coming, uh, especially with uh, the episode where he does the speech, that whole, that realization of, oh, I'm not a burden or anything. I actually do have value. And that, that finding that value within yourself and everything, like, she's like, oh, that must be such a great feeling. And, like, I really wanted a chance to play that. And then I got it. <laughs> that doesn't happen in this industry yeah, very often, amazing. if ever. So, in that sense, I, I'm very glad that I was chosen, but at the chosen one, no. So, that's all the questions that we have right now. Thank you so much for your submissions and for spending some time with us today. Yes, thanks so much, you guys, for watching and, I don't know. Yeah, just for all the support. Now. Thank you like, for watching. Thank you for watching. You should be, and you, you should know be it. Watching. Daniel Hughes, in your opinion, how should Attack on Titan end? Well, I think that Darcy should ask Elizabeth to marry him, and they should live at Pemberley ever after. And just yes, wrong show. I don't. Wrong, oh, wrong show. Wrong show. Wrong show. Wrong show. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>